All right, let me let me talk a little bit about debating. Okay, people ask why do you debate? Well, SFT, Standing for Truth Ministries, Creationist Ministries, right? His he wanted he wanted to make it fair concerning soteriology because every time you would look up free grace, you would always have lordship and all these other people uh, dominating the algorithm. Uh, I think that's even before people were using the term algorithm. And he wanted to have more conversations. So he was dealing with OSAS, eternal security and all this. And then I came on the scene and doing informal stuff for about a year. Okay. <laughs> and, uh, uh, and people were like, man, you should formally debate. And I was like, well, I had to evaluate, is that outside the scope of the, of the layman seminary? You know, the mission statement for the layman seminary is teaching Christians how to study the Bible and share it with others. And it's not called the free grace layman seminary. It's called the layman seminary and it's for all Christians. And we got people from all walks of life, you know, and within different camps and, and all of that stuff watching these streams. I, you know, I get people that love me from my debates and from my uh, opposing side, I got people that hate me. But regardless of that, you know, God's in control, if you want to call that drawn or whatever. Uh, but essentially, the issue was, is I was like, okay, how do I, and, and I w was on C4C's apology, uh, on your channel, Daniel, talking about some of this. But how do I, uh, I had to pray for about a year before, uh, and, and, and SFT was like, man, we could really use you. And I think that this would help balance it out. And, and all of this. And so I, I just started realizing, okay, I'm going to formally debate in the same reason that when a pastor or someone in a church says, hey, will you give a sermon? Will you teach or whatever? It's just another way to serve. But another thing is the layman seminary idea, whether we're talking about dispensationalism or, or free grace, we're talking about a layman movement. We're talking about everyone should study the Bible for themselves and making things accessible. So what the debates do is it puts you in front of different people. And the challenge is, how can I explain my position to show it has greater explanatory pow power and to win people to the layman seminary rather than just winning the debate? OK, now, honestly, I don't think I've lost a debate, but uh, that's, you know, that's the, because of the explanatory power of free grace and also because people don't understand free grace. You know, they 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 it's hard to debate something they don't they think they know, but they really don't know. Um, and sadly, there's some free grace people that don't know that I'm talking about the newer generation. So. Uh, the issue is, is that I just see it as another avenue of, of, uh, of discussing these issues, getting it to where people can be exposed to the more academic things, sort of like a bridge. 